Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about... No, 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 we must paint the testes. Oh man, I freaking love Austin Powers. But I'm still high from 420, baby. <laughs> Yo! Tonight, it's Butthole Episode. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yo, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, baby. Oh, my God. Nucky Grandma. Diarrhea. Happy Sam. late 420. Oh, for whistle. That's right, man. We back and we doing it big. Like a giant fucked a giant bitch and had a giant kid. Nice. Nice. Topical. Pizza, pizza, happy pizza, late pizza, 420. Pizza, 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 Dude, happy for Twizzle pizza, a little pizza. late. I hope you guys are still mm. stoned like us. Just, I'm coming. I'm actually coming down. What about you guys? <laughs> Just Ooh. starting to come down from no. the high I was on. Ah. That's sick, dude. This is a 365 trip for me, dude. This is going oh, all the way. <laughs> dude, do you remember when... Uh, do you remember in high school and shit and also in college when it was like 420 and all the fellow stoners would walk around saying happy holiday? Yeah, that's freaking sick. That was, favorite. that was my favorite shit, dude. Happy holiday. Drugs make me cool. And then seeing the fucking dorks that don't smoke weed, they got oh, good grades man. and ended up getting great jobs and are contributing members of society. Be like, what holiday? Mm. And you're like, you idiot. Yeah. Are teachers allowed to be like stone now since like like weed is legal? Can teachers just show up freaking stoned? What do you think, Blake? Yeah, Blake, I don't know. What do you think, bud? 100%. 100%. 100%. I mean, I used to have teachers that rolled in smelling like booze all the time. Maybe now they roll in smelling like the guy. Do you think that was allowed? <laughs> um. That was not allowed. That was not allowed, but I think you can smoke weed before you go. Do you think it's allowed now because it's legal? Blazer. Well, I would hope so. I think you can. I think you can because it's a medicine. So, like, I think you can. Thank you. Thank you. Well, no, you 100% can't. 100% I think you can. I know, but you okay. can't. <laughs> okay. Are you sure about that? I'm positive they're not allowing teachers to roll in stones. Stony balloon? Dude, you guys are about to have a thought battle. It's a, you can do it after work. I think that's allowed now. Yeah. When before that was not allowed. Off school premises. Why couldn't you roll in on a couple mills? Like what Wheel. if it's for like. You could, but you can't. It's, it's not allowed. I think you can't. You can. Yeah. I don't think you'll get in trouble for that. Like, I, I was always high in school. I wasn't allowed to be high in school, but I was. Adam I'm thought he was a teacher. <laughs> he was so high. He's like, yeah, when I was a teacher, I, I was on drugs. Wait, were you talking about a teacher? We're talking teachers. Teachers. Yeah, I think teachers are there. We're talking t-shirts. <laughs> I think that teachers wearing t-shirts are allowed to be stoned while right. teaching. I think that's okay. Wait, what grade are we talking? Have you guys ever had a student t-shirt? Well, any any teacher? No, it's like a kindergarten te teacher could be stoned, probably, or, or a substitute T-shirt. I'm still gonna send it. I feel like if, if you're, you're gonna substitute. be stoned, you want to be stoned for the younger grades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like in Billy Madison, the like kindergarten teacher was just a space cadet who was on acid, right? The art right. teacher who was like face painting herself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was like eating glue and shit. Oh, no, that was weird. That, like, scared me. Yeah, she was, like, painting glue on her face. I remember being, like, kind of frightened by that scene. Oh, I mean, really? Let's yeah. unpack that, dude. What's up? Are you... Yeah. Are you... <laughs> Blake was really scared of Billy Madison as a child. It, it really terrified him. <laughs> right. It did have scary parts like the clown, the dead clown. <laughs> hey, were you really scared of, about, of stuff when you were a kid? Did things, like, really throw you? Yes. Oh. I think the penguin was kind of scary. I think... That yeah. penguin in that movie, too. Wasn't that a little scary, too, when he saw the penguin? Yeah, yeah. It was a really scary movie. I kind of thought all that stuff was kind of cool. I was like, sick, dude. <laughs> so that's so scary. I guess I didn't get the joke. I, it made me go like, do you hallucinate when you drink? 
Because obviously I hadn't been drunk yet. And I was like, oh, shit, it's about to be on. Yeah. Right. Give, yeah. give me a few more years. I'm going to be saying penguins. Yeah, they really yeah. paint drinking to be really cool, and it's not cool, guys. Drugs are cool. Yeah, not no. Cool, right? Well, drugs are allowed if you're a teacher. Blake, I was just talking to a team the other day about how you got, you got like, blackout on, like, a Tuesday uh, when he just was trying to have a chill night. Diarrhea. I wasn't blackout. What do you mean? I was just watching basketball. What is it? What the hell is he talking about? Mm-hmm. He might have. Well, it wasn't quite blackout, but it was like, yeah, we, you know, I wasn't even planning on time went on, and Blake was like, and if you're listening right now, Blake is shooting daggers at Adam <laughs> right now. <laughs> Cut it out. Wait, who was this? Who said this? I missed that. I missed that. Atiba, Atiba Jefferson. Yeah. Oh, Atiba saying. He- a team. Who listens to the pod? He was throwing you under the bus, dog. He was like, yeah. Bla- mm. Blake was like, I-, I was planning on having a chill night. And Blake was like, yo, dude, the basketball game's on. I've never seen Atiba have a chill night. Yeah, what I, the- Right, those don't exist. <laughs> I don't feel like that's a thing. And it's not like <laughs> he rolls over the Super Soaker 50 full of Jaeger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not even sure what he's saying because we just watched basketball at a bar. It wasn't oh. like we were freaking rageaholics. The no shots were poured. Oh, all right. Hey, what do I'm I know? Maybe now. No shots were poured? Well, now I'm kind of let down. Maybe I heard what I wanted to hear. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, selective yeah. hearing, like, yeah. oh, oh, I'll tell Blake about this. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, shit, blackout, yeah, now so we're talking, take it to the pod. So you didn't hear that, Adam? You just invented this? <laughs> no, I definitely heard, <laughs> oh. he said that they went to a bar and he didn't, wasn't really planning on drinking, but uh, I felt like Blake led the charge led the charge he saw the wild in your eyes sure yeah 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 i did but you know what it sounds like atiba might have might have played it up he's still trying to seem cool to you dude he's like dude we, we went <laughs> oh, freaking shit. hard as hell blake was blackout wow dude it, it, you're about to get a phone call and a text now a decade of friendship in and, and we're still trying to seem cool to each other that's <laughs> that, dude blake got so blackout dude it was crazy that's a cool thing to say about anybody bro he's just trying to seem cool to you like <laughs> well atiba is like a super chloe always says that he's like the, our like coolest friend because he's oh. you know he's always he's always he's a photo- professional photographer yeah he like knows rock he hangs out with rock stars all the time mm-hmm. he travels um, the world he's a he global travels citizen. the world he's a globalist actually he yes is. he is yeah <laughs> So whenever I see him, I always like I just, I just hold on to a skateboard, and I know you do that too, Blake. Uh, you yeah, you have a skateboard just like <laughs> yes. just like locked and loaded. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of hang on to it. You don't really ever stand on it because I can't. My knees will explode, and my right. hip will just fly out of socket. <laughs> <laughs> just just from laying foot on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just from if my foot gets anywhere near it, my knees will just clunk clunk. Oh god, my knee, <laughs> my knees are chunking. My knees just exploded. Uh, oh, oh, my knees are chunking. <laughs> pop up. I just have a pair of roller blades that are that are tied together by the <laughs> shoelaces, and I just keep them on my shoulder. Yeah, over the shoulder. Can I tell you something, Blake? I shelved that exact thought just now. I was like, "Hey, jump in here and say you wear roller blades over your shoulders with the," and I didn't because I'm like, "This mm. is their thing." And then you said it, mm. and now I'm remembering. Hey, man, you're, you're my son. Dang. Yeah. You're a pretty cool guy. You guys should kiss. Wait. Rollerblades oh. over the fucking shoulder. That's, yeah, that's that's a sick look. That's a good look. <laughs> you guys should kiss right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, do you guys ever, if you did rollerblade, did you ever have a friend oh, yeah. who was like, oh, I'll take your bike, and then you would, they would get picked up, so you'd have to ride the bike back home with your rollerblades on and like pedal with the blades on? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've definitely done that before. It wasn't like a friend thing. It was. Yeah, the scenario was a little different. The scenario was a little different. <laughs> it was a kidnapping. <laughs> the scenario was different, but I. It was a lonely kind of look at me. <laughs> I he was definite... kidnapping a child. Yeah. No, my friend <laughs> lived a handful of blocks away, but. Mm, sounds like a friend thing. Go ahead. The rollerblade there was. <laughs> it's a friend thing. <laughs> There was a lot of acorns, a lot of gravel on the road. It wasn't sure. great rollerblading. Dude, oh my God. Sure. Right. But in his backyard, he had like a little um like mini ramp 
and then he had like a nice paved area. Fucking sick, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yes. a friend had this. Go ahead. Yes, my friend. <laughs> it does sound like yep. a friend thing. And it sounds <laughs> sick as fuck. Sounds like a friend thing to me. And then I would ride my bike over to his house wearing my rollerblades because we were going to blade when we right. were there. Right. But you couldn't blade there. I couldn't Dude, blade there. You are Did opening you... a deep wrinkle in my brain of like rollerblading high speeds, kind of like going one blade to the other to the other. And then That's how you do it ahead of you seeing like a shit ton of like acorns or leaves mm. yeah. and being like, OK, I'm going to go uh -oh. through this. But both blades will just stay on the ground and go G -g 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 and then go right. back to blading after you get through. That was the way to do it. Yeah. Right. And just like a whew, you just had to commit, yeah. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. what it's all about. You can't go half acid because that's when you bail, dude. You right. could do that even if you had a lot of gravel. You'd have to almost sometimes go into walk mode with your blades on to try and dodge so you didn't yes. Yes. clip. Right. Yeah, you go real slow. Or you go, you know what? I'm gonna I'm going into the grass. Yes. And then you're in walk mode. And I'm just going to high knee. I'm going to high knee it. I loved it. You yeah. run. So if there's like two yeah. sidewalks and you don't want to go like the Whoa, long man. way around, you would just blade off into the grass, hoof it, hoof it, hoof it, hoof it, jump, walk mode. land, and then you're back on <sighs> the sidewalk. Dude, are we about to go blading together? This is gnar. Dude, I'd be, I think, I think my knees might be able to handle a blade. That, Maybe that's I, what I do for exercise now. I'm, I'm a blader yeah. boy. Enough with the bike. Well, don't you live like Wait, right ooh. on the beach? Like, I bought some during the during the pandemic. I bought a pair. Yeah. Oh, you already have a pair. I bought the ones that I had when I grew up off of eBay. Oh shit, Lucky that's duck. fucking sick, dude. You got the same pair. The Rollerblade TRS Lightning. Yeah, they're fucking sick. We'll post that's a picture. Sick. Oh, shreddy. Some are they cozy? Are they still cozy? Yeah, they're very warm. <laughs> good, warm. good, good. No, dude, they're terrible. They make your ankles feel like they're gonna snap every second you're in them. They're bad. Well, I remember like, well, no, you just got to lace them up. Yeah, I remember the boot. Yeah, you got to tighten them tight, real tight. The the boot tight. on the inside, if you got in that in the wrong yes. place, it would dig into your fucking yeah. shin yeah. and that shit would hurt. It would cut off yeah. the circulation, actually. There's, are those the roller blades with the ratchets? straps instead of the laces those are great they do have a ratchet at the top yes Where's they're that? ratchet well they also have i'm a little ratchet too but it's hybrid so 90s laces and you tuck the laces down in between the ratchets and then you mm. well mm. kyle and i we were we were indoor hockey players so it was all laces yes. no ratchets you're thinking of the macro yes. macro blade so you guys you guys were from rich families what's going on uh, uh indoor hockey indoor. i don't know yeah were you guys wildly wealthy what's happening <laughs> uh, in indoor hockey remember i remember it being a big deal to play hockey in my household it's expensive as fuck allegedly it was expensive and we had to be about it if we were playing it it wasn't like uh you're missing practice you know right Dude, the same exact thing. I was like, I loved rollerblading. I was a real mm -hmm. fruit booter, as the skateboarders called me. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, I was yeah. like, I'm going to be do indoor hockey. And then my mom took me to the place to buy pads and equipment, all the stuff that they said that we needed to buy. And right. my mom just turned around and we walked right out of there. And she <laughs> said, yeah. yeah. And I'm we like, were, oh, yeah. we're poor, though. You're, you're talking about indoor roller hockey? Is that what we're saying? Roller hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Because you're yeah. saying indoor hockey, and I'm like... Because you have to buy all the fucking pads. You have to get all these pads. And then if you're still growing, you have to buy them every year. Fucking it is... But you can hit play it again, right? And Kyle was growing. And Kyle was growing. I was growing. Dude. I was growing. <laughs> He's got me growing. Dude, that man was growing. We get it, man. Your parents yeah. are rich, bro. Damn, dude. He was growing. No, I think I was actually going to chime in on that and set the record straight that I think oh, a lot yeah. of my paper route money went towards hockey gear. I think okay. I had... A, I think I had a budget where they were like, if you want to play hockey, we'll get the bare minimum. And that was played mm -hmm. again, sports, right? You know, bottom level, use shit. Anything else? Right. And your brother also played hockey, right? Yeah, my brother played all the way through college. He was but, the goalie. And he can, can he still do the splits? Uh, I don't, he can. Yeah. He can. Yes. Yes. I know he can. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Let's put that on. Hey, remember when we painted your brother's uh, nutsack yellow? And then he did the splits, and, yep. and then there's a little yellow dot on the floor yeah. of the workaholics house. Okay. Yeah, we did. We, 
Now that night I was blackout. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's some great pictures from that night. Wow, epic pictures from that night. Yeah, because you painted uh, you painted his nuts with your tongue, dude. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was crazy. Well, nobody believed him. No, no, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you were blackout, dude. Yeah, I remember that. No, okay. So this is what it was. Is like your brother. We were all very hammered at the workaholics house. Baby Nooch. Yeah. Was this pre or during workaholics? It was pre, like but barely, mm -hmm. but barely. Like a little before, barely. Yeah. Yep. The ins the inspiration. Like maybe we were shooting the presentation or something. You know. Yeah. Maybe around that time. And for anybody who knows Baby Nooch, he's built like a freaking tank, but he's yeah. one of the most agile men you'll ever meet. Almost like Beast from the X-Men. You're just surprised at the shit. I feel like that's a newer check. Uh, that's consistent with all the newer checks across the board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kyle does have good dexterity. Yeah, yeah. Thick agility. Give, just, yeah. Give, yeah, I mean, this guy on the pickle court, come on. I'm saying, I'm just saying, wait till you see me this weekend, buddy, because I'm about to fuck some shit up. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, okay. But but baby Nooch was a goalie in hockey. Like he right, was right. He quick. could do the splits. He was like just he was dope. And, he was uh, actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. But one day, it, you know, it was years out from him from us playing together. He was still claiming he could do like the splits proper. So we had the idea to prove not not my bitchy like yeah, jazz said, splits where I right. take a leg back where I'm right. cheating. Yes, he does. I'm glad you said that. Like two legs out. We said if you, <laughs> yeah. we said if you can actually do the splits all the way down, <laughs> then if we paint your testicles yellow. Well, first we had to cut a hole, <laughs> right? That's how you'll know he like mm -hmm. did it properly. Yeah, it will leave a mark on the floor of your yeah. of your testicles, like it'll stamp the ground, and right. then we'll have the proof. And who painted yeah. it? I did. Well, we, he didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> It yeah. seems like a roundabout way to just see his nuts. And it wasn't even, it wasn't he even with a brush. I like finger painted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh boy. I imagine you like hearing like little rumblings about how you could do the splits and you just run in from another room and be like, um, I have an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> I have the formula. <laughs> I know how this can, I know I, how this can be proven very easily. <laughs> And they're like, well, we could just use our eyes. We yeah. could, he could just do the split, so we could just view it with our eyes and, and tell. Or we could put like a camera down there. Yeah. We <laughs> yeah. Or he can just do it in pants. Yeah. yeah. And then we could just watch mm -hmm. with our eyes and see that he did it. Well, no, that's what man. he ended up doing. And you're Blake's like, no, no, no. We must paint the testy. He ended uh -huh. up doing it in sweats. He got a pair of old sweats, and we cut yep. the hole and pull his yep. balls right through it. And then yep. that's when you painted. So it wasn't crass mm -hmm. like all you guys are thinking i want to paint the picture properly it wasn't like <laughs> nude oh. oh no yeah no this sounds on the up and up for sure yeah it Wait. was not crass yeah i know people <laughs> are out there thinking like yeah it wasn't crass like everybody they're they're gross out there they're thinking like you yeah yeah this is on the level you know what i'm gonna turn the radio down this is a little crass for me in the morning when i'm driving into work it yeah. wasn't that right a nude man? A nude man? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Oh, God. The guys are getting crass again. <laughs> it's a gross out pod. He wasn't what? nude. He was wearing sweats. We pulled his balls through the sweats. <laughs> it wasn't crass like you thought. You know that makes it worse, right? That's not it better. It's kind of hot. Yeah. Well, also, Wait, what we mean? could have just gotten an old pair of jeans and pulled his balls through Who the cares? zipper area, and yeah, no. he could have just a jeans through the hey, zipper. You want to pull no. your balls through the yeah. zipper? Hey, you know what? You can't do, do the splits, the splits in I jeans. Take it, I take it back. <laughs> He's got I his take, it take back. back. He's got his take back. Yeah, that I got. I got my take back. I, yeah. As soon as it came out of my mouth, I'm like. You can't do the splits in jeans. <laughs> we ooh. You can't do the splits in jeans. We got to circle back to where that came, comes from. With that said. I don't know. Oh, bike ride. Oh, yeah. My boy stamped the floor, and that yellow paint stayed on the on the floor for the rest of the days. Through through all all mm. of the workaholic seasons, yeah. we, we had the a little yellow dot. <laughs> Why did this never become a teaser for little. Adam to do the splits and leave the mark? But then, like... It's super glue and his nuts stick to the ground or something. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it writes itself. Uh, Durs, oh, God damn it. it. Wow. Yeah. We need a it's movie. A yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened? Yeah. What, that's, a, that's, a great, that's a great one. Hey, man, hey. save it for the cartoon. 
Dude, save save it for uh, that. That will never happen because Paramount right. Plus doesn't want anything to do with us. I do love the idea of like we we come up with the idea. We put a little super glue in the paint. Your nuts stick to the thing. We're laughing. You start crying. We feel bad. We go in to help you out. Then our fingers all get stuck to your nuts to the floor. <laughs> and then we have to like use our power. By the way, this is a perfect bottle episode. This is the whole yep. episode. This is no longer just the teaser. Oh, it is. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. This is good. This is good. This is important. We have to figure out a way to get the phone from across the hall to then dial with our noses and get, call 911. So, like, mm-hmm. we know we have rats, right? 911 fun. Uh, mm-hmm. I have... Got to cut your Got to cut your finger off. <laughs> Blake always has treats in his pocket, so he's... <laughs> yes. We use rats to bring the phone over. Yes. Right. Exactly. To nibble the paint. The paint mm-hmm. is actually, is the, the rat eats the paint. You have to. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. there's nacho cheese. Mm. Oh, okay. Or, or here, and in case we didn't want a bottle episode, how about mm-hmm. this? Oh. You, it's their super <laughs> glue on my nuts. Huh. I drop Producer low. hat off. <laughs> I No, I, drew, I drop low. Like, we, <laughs> we've Adam. already done the bottle episode somewhere in the season. We can go out and about. For sure, yes, yes. And it was good. It was funny. No, this is the one, though. This is the one. <laughs> this is the funny important. one. It, it could be a romp quest. We we do a bottle episode. <laughs> this is okay. I, let him... I, I stamp right. the nuts. Hey, I'm brainstorming here, Kyle. Exactly. Why are you being a name oh, naysayer, right. dude? Okay, okay. Hit it, baby. Hit yeah. it. Yeah. And Come so on. I'm stuck to the, the <laughs> floor. Mm-hmm. It hurts so bad. You guys all help me get up. My nets are, are fully stretched out, like <laughs> a foot nets? and a half. <laughs> Okay. Did you say nets? And you guys are like, oh my God. And you think like it's going to rip my balls. I ripped the floorboard up. Mm. And we're like, oh my God, you just ripped the floorboard. Now I have this piece of wood stuck to my... With your nets. With my nets. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And I look underneath. There's a treasure map. Treasure map. There's yep. a treasure map. Oh! There's a treasure map. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Net, net, net. Right. Yep. That was hidden oh, under the floorboards. Net, 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 net. And then now it's. So it's a, wait, what is that? Our Goonies episode. What is that? Just to gr- to cor- to ground it a little so that your nuts aren't this stretching a, a foot and a half. What if we just, dis- you, you can't get up. So we decided to saw a hole around so you can like just get up with the wood and we can take it to the ER. But because of what we saw, mm. you fall through the floor and what mm. do we find? X marks a spot. A treasure map. A treasure map. A door leading to <laughs> Oh, a X marks a treasure spot. map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then there's some kind of tunnel, and uh-huh. we just hear like uh, Paramount's back in. Like, a, hey, you guys! It's mm-hmm. sloth. Like we hear, we hear a sloth. That's Carl. Not a right. fan. When am I in this? That's Carl, right? <laughs> wow, <laughs> dude! <laughs> Carl has been. Well, Carl yeah, has homies is. with Carl sloth. I feel. There. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down there for sure. Not part of the story, but down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you sell him. Uh, He's like, oh. Uh, human growth hormones. Right. Uh, cool. And it's just down there fucking deadlifting trash. That's cool, man. By the way, can we just can we just circle around Goonie, Goonies and Sloth Thank for you. a moment? No. Because because what I like about what I like about that movie is it goes, okay, this is a different looking person mm. who to children would be frightening at mm. first. But uh. then but then a kid who who's been picked on a lot himself you know, becomes his friend and mm, like gets sure. past the like chunk, bizarre face and the ears that can move on their own somehow. Yep. yep they share mm-hmm. a candy bar and and befriends this person and, and shows him love. You couldn't make you couldn't show that story anymore. Right. Because people would be think? like, no, from the bat, no one would be scared of a person who's deformed. Mm. We wouldn't have that because then mm. you'd be a bad person. Or, or you'd be like, you're... Well, isn't that just fucking... That's just like Phantom of the Opera, though, right? I mean... Uh, oh, good pull. <laughs> yeah. Very good pull. Oh, yeah. And I guess it's Leviticus uh, 712, isn't it? Really? Um, <laughs> it's the story of Cain and Abel. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Adam, Adam's rib. <laughs> yeah. There are only... Now, there's only seven stories, technically. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is we're like post people being able to figure something out like that. It would, people would be offended. Like, why is yeah. he scared of this guy with a deformed face? I have a deformed face. People would for sure be offended. Yeah. 
It would be a hard sell in the room. It'd be a hard sell. You're not yeah. getting to make the man in the iron mask anymore, all right? No, wait, what was the one? But isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? Wait, what was the one? The elephant man? That is weird. It, or what about the elephant mask? Elephant man? No, the well, mask. Okay, that one was sick. Yeah, with Cher and fucking Sam Elliott. With Jim Carrey? No, no. No, not, no. The one with us. Uh, Sam- uh, maybe it's called just Mask. Mask. It's just Mask. Uh, yeah, it's no. Cher. It's with the dude with the face that he looks like me. Stoltz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Stoltz. the one that looks exactly like... <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, huh, we, we'll save on a makeup huh. budget. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, and Sam Elliott's Perfect. in it, too. Whoa, you already went through makeup, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, what was the one with Mel Gibson, where Mel Gibson, like, is in, like, a, ri- like, has a deformed face, and, like, the kids are afraid of him, and then, like, he falls in love with, the with like, the neighbor or, like, their mom? Do you remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I, no. I really don't know what you're talking about. I do. The man without a face. I do not. Okay. <laughs> the man without a face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The best movie ever. Mm-hmm. She had no face. Yeah. <laughs> Born without was, a face. It was so good. Ooh. That was a great film. But, but what are we talking about now? Now we're just talking about movies that employ this this tactic yeah. that would not be maybe touched today. You're, That's it. And isn't that weird? Well, guys, if we if we do a movie, if we ever get to do a movie together again, by the way, Point Grey just uh, and and I retweeted it or Instagrammed it said that it was mm-hmm. five years ago today that yes, a, Game Over Man ago. came out. Oh wow. Four, not 425 exactly, but it was, yeah, it was like. Oh, sure, yeah. Well, we, you know, we record these uh, okay. at different we, times, yeah, yeah. but. <laughs> but I'm still high from 420, baby. <laughs> Wait. Yo. I'm five from 420 last year. <laughs> yeah, I'm stewed. I, hey, it still stands. I'm still high from 420. <laughs> I blacked out. They're claiming it, huh? That's great. Yeah, dude. Yeah, they are. They're claiming the movie. They're proud. All right, cool. They're proud of it. Dude, five five years later, smoke has settled. It's dope. I'm gonna repost it and say, "What's your favorite part?" Probably Adam's dick. D- d- damn, it's not the butthole part. It's not the butthole part. They don't like that part. <laughs> Donkey. I feel like the balls to stay on theme with the one movie that we've done together. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should have at least part of my dick out, and I think maybe the think? balls on the f- mm-hmm. on the floor. I think okay. it should take place on your dick with like uh, ants. Oh, that's a good idea. Or or little mites. Little mites. Yes, we're mites. Thank you. <laughs> oh, your dick is a place. Your yeah, dick yeah. is a place. It's the, and, <laughs> and you know what? His dick is one of the characters. See us. It, it might be just the backdrop, but it really is one of the characters in the movie. <laughs> well, a lot of times the place. Yeah, the setting. <laughs> the setting is a character. That's just Phantom of the Opera, dude. Now you're just ripping Phantom <laughs> of the Opera. Dude, that's true. And, yeah, of course, Leviticus uh, 712. But my dick is fully deformed, and <laughs> yeah. and the kids don't know how mm-hmm. they feel about it. <laughs> Going back to Leviticus. Right, you know? they're scared. It's chained <laughs> up at first, and then when it gets loose <laughs> and gets a little chocolate in it, then you... <laughs> What's wrong yeah. with his well, dick? They're all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, it's a nice dick." Well, right. that's usually with Look, those. Yeah, actually, it's good. Its its ears are winking at us. <laughs> yeah, it can it can make its ears move on its own. Mm-hmm. No, those are warts, idiot. It has a Snickers bar. It has a Baby Ruth. Yeah, <laughs> right. So this, so this right. Is fan of the opera meets Sandlot. I'm in, dude. I'm in, right. dude. Right. This is really good. With a little, uh, is your dick speaking? Right. We got to get the ball back from that dick. <laughs> and it's just barking at them. I like it. I like it's it. It's just a guy who's asleep on, he's asleep on his lazy boy, but he always falls asleep without clothes. <laughs> the ball rolls into his living room. Oh my like, God. oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking perfect, dude. But is it hey. gr- is it like other adults or is it children that are like trying to get the ball back? <laughs> no, it's adult. No, it's adults. It has to be adults. Okay. Why? Obviously, why? <laughs> it has to be adults. <laughs> are we still talking? We're- why, dude? It's a children's adventure. But that's not funny. Yeah, that's yeah. not funny. <laughs> It is funny. It's still funny. Yeah, I don't know if you're getting the... It has no. to be... It's still funny to me. <laughs> it's still funny to me, too. It's okay. It's still <laughs> funny to me. It, you know what? It should take place 10 years ago, and it should be the Octomom's children when they were, like, six years old. I don't know how old they are, but, like, it's the young Octomom uh, 
octuplets. What are they doing again? W- explain. Uh, re- remind me who the Octomom is. That's is, that's a I Marvel re- character. She's the one who gave birth to eight children at once. Right. Right. Big okay, pregnancy. Big go. big pregnancy. <laughs> And that was because of like the weird, the weird drugs that they, that they used to go on. Yeah. Yeah. She was trying to get, yeah. Trying to get pregnant and, uh. Oh, John and Kate plus eight. Legendary. Wait, it was, it was. No, that's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Solomon. What's her name? Solomon or something. Solomon. Leviticus. (laughs) Solomon and Gomorrah. I don't know her name. Leviticus (laughs) the wise. (laughs) She was hella famous because she had eight (laughs) babies at once. Oh, N- Nadia. Nadia Solman. Yeah. Okay. Who is and, this? W- and the the fact that I have space in my brain for that and yeah. so yeah. many other, th- I'm like, what's <laughs> the name of that director I just worked with today? <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the bitch. <laughs> nope. Blake, <laughs> no. And she does porno? You look her up on, on Google and it says it says Nadia Solman, pornographic film actor. That's what she's... <laughs> what? Yeah, most known as. Uh, but it seems like she huh. should be most known as... Octomom. The Octomom. I don't know, Adam. You have to <laughs> revisit her line of work because she was very good. I guess you got to click on that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Oh, my God. <laughs> Octomom is a porn star. I had no idea. Is that the same? That is crazy. I feel like, yeah, she's got to be. And she has, guys, and she has 14 kids now. Well, when you have eight, when you have eight, you're you're boosted. That's a boost. What the? <laughs> yeah, when one is eight, it's... I guess if you have eight, do you then need to have six more kids? You might as well. <laughs> well, that's or- the math, yeah. I don't know. That's some old school shit. That's like you got you. She was probably going for another eight, dude. Like, cause that made her famous, and then she had them, and then it's like, can I like repeat the tree peat? Wow, yeah. that's tragic. Fuck it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're How right. Do you, yeah. Isn't How do it you weird know? that I'm so right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're you're right. You're spot on. You're she right. was like, let me repeat the tree peat. Yeah, you have to repeat the tree peat. How do you parent like fourteen children? And she's filming it. And she's filming it. <laughs> Obviously. Well, you have to. <laughs> She's filming the attempts. And that's, that's yeah, that's what is pornographic. It's just her having all these kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She wanted a reality show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. damn. Damn, son. And Lexington Steel is the doctor. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, um, I think I know who that is. You know what's cool? That Lexington's, Lexington Steel was kind of, like, there for us, like, our generations. Like We. He was. He was. Yeah. Tender, humongous dicked. Who is that? Oh, he's a por- porno, porno father. Dude, hey, Blake, Blake quit acting like you it. don't know. God. He was like, mor- <laughs> he, he was basically like Morpheus of porno. I'm playing the voice of the audience. There is a possibility that people listening just think that's, that's a superhero true. name. Hey, dude, I guarantee you, 98.5 percent of our audience knows who Lexington Steel is and who might that? have posters on the wall guys get in the yeah. comments tell us if you were aware of who this person was before just slide in blake's dms and say of course we know i stand with lex yeah. oh no i uh, maybe not i don't know i haven't looked at what that dude yeah does in his everyday life probably like a sick artist well yeah probably fucking we pro- in my guess is he's just cool as shit but <laughs> yeah i bet he like finger paints people's balls and says okay now you lower down you make a mark and then you change the color <laughs> Yeah, what is Lexington Steel up to nowadays? Like, if if you told me he just, like, owns, like, a frozen banana stand somewhere and he's just sort of... He's got the canes. He opened the canes. Smart. He he has a chocolate frozen banana stand somewhere and he's like, get it? Yeah. Funny, Uh right? Funny, Uh right? And he's like, funny because the bananas are smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Funny because the bananas are six Uh, inches too small. That's the joke. Yeah. It is funny. He's funny. Dude, I could probably take him into retirement, so man. That would take him into a retirement. Yeah, I mean, that's he's fan. behind the camera now, right? Like, he's, um, you know, he's t- <laughs> he that's be. what I worry about is these porn stars. Is where are they retiring as? You know, what's what's going on? Like, like. Well, we know Lexington Steel is uh, owning a frozen banana stand because it just makes perfect sense. We know that. Yeah. And is that what you do? You transition behind the camera? You have to. Yeah. 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 You start to direct. You start to yeah. create. And then, like, uh, who's the guy that was known for a ton of. You start to get your vision out there. You're in the guild, Kyle. Kyle, you're in the guild. You're the numbers cruncher. 
I huh? met him. <laughs> I'm not in the guild. Durs, who is the the act the pornographic male actor? Okay. I've met him once at the gym. Oh yeah, Peter um, North. Peter North. Yeah, Peter North. Pull. Yeah, you know Peter I mean? North. Hmm. He think... should own like uh like a yeah. fondue restaurant. Yeah, he might be dead. Oh no, why a fondue p- restaurant, Adam? What's uh? Well, it's because he's known <laughs> for his amazing amount of ejaculate. Like he's known for his. <laughs> Actually, he's a spokesperson wow. for Splooge, the uh, delicious drink. <laughs> what is it called? They never sent it. Adam's like mm. got great career crossover advice for for porn stars. I like this. Yeah, I know what to do post porno. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, I I don't know if I'd know how to navigate being a porno star, the but biz, I would know what right. to do as soon as I, I hung up <laughs> your spurs, right. hung up your spurs. What are the name of those things at school? The people who tell you what you should do? Shooters. A, a counselor. career, career counselor, counselor, career advisor. Yeah. 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 I think that's the official name. Yeah. So Adam's the porno counselor. Yeah. That would be the, really cool. A guidance counselor. Yeah. Well, wait, what? Yeah. Guidance counselor. Guidance counselor. Guidance. Yeah. Guidance. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, it. sir. There we go. <laughs> Why, I, I like how we, we were like, Blake, you're a moron. It's yeah. the wrong answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I knew when you guys were saying it, I was like, that's not clicking as what I was thinking, but right. guidance counselor. What a cool job. That I mean, yeah, admittedly, that is a cool job. Imagine you just cause you always have to yes. be positive. Hang Sometimes yeah. you just meet a kid and you're like, oh, you're you're fucked. You're a total yeah, yeah. idiot. You're mm-hmm. kind of mean. Well, come on, there's still got a place in this world. Come on. <laughs> no, for sure. But then you're like, you need you're like Yeah, of course. The world yeah. needs dick teachers. You you gotta find it. Yeah, then then you you're just lose. like you uh, have to work, uh, you know, uh, in a trash heap somewhere. Right, yep. <laughs> digging a ditch. Yep. Digging a ditch. Yeah, you're a ditch digger. Do you think in the history of guidance counselors, which mm-hmm. is what I knew they were called while you guys were just gabbing on? Uh huh. Jk, I totally mm-hmm. forgot. Um, wow. That there was a guy who was like poaching chicks out of high school and was like, Oh gosh, yours. <laughs> of course. Right. <laughs> Oh, dirt. <laughs> Wait, for what? What do you mean? A guy was like, I don't know. Like, have you ever thought of acting? And then they're like, no, not really. He's like, you're a beautiful young girl. And he was like, Here, here's my guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know, you should be a model. And then I he mean, like, he and has... then he like sent them to a homie who knew and just, he was like the feeder. You know what is weird? This what is, is weird is I feel the worst. This is the worst. Blake's looking at me like Blake's looking at me like obviously every school. <laughs> well, I'm just saying if there's if you can come up with the terrible idea about a man in some sort of position of power, yes, it has been abused. It has. Uh-huh. Well, for sure, but but it, why in the news? And if you're listening, please draw a picture <laughs> of what you think that guy would look like and send it to Blake's DMs. Dude, I bet he's I bet he's kind of <laughs> hot. I bet he kind of looks like Blake. Right, young guy, maybe has like lines shaved in the side of the head. Oh, yeah. He's got to be cool. Yeah, you know, he has like long, cool, curly hair, kind of right. flops it off to the side. He's got like no. kind of a... Sh- yeah, I got some small, cool throwback shades, like hey, some man. pretty... Like a light mustache that you really have to look at to notice. Does he wear those like yellow <laughs> lens glasses you know for looking at computers be? all day? <laughs> yeah, lots of throwback stuff. You should work at... <laughs> They're like athletic glasses, but it's just clear lenses. Yeah, he wears like all over print Marvel, like all over print t-shirts, sells them on the side. He's kind of hip. Yeah, got. he's got gloves in his bag. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, brother, you're going to work at the water slides. See ya. <laughs> There's our guy. <laughs> Blake Anderson, guidance count. And you've been guided. You've been guided, my boy. Uh, but why is it on the news lately, <laughs> why it's do all I... female. It's like all the female. Oh. Why is that? Because that's clickbait. People want to be you're like, that, was that, she hot? Yeah, but is it happening at the same rate with men in schools? Or No, no. Dudes are fucking way more young girls than women are like, uh, getting hand jobs from 16-year-old dudes. What is this podcast? <laughs> Wait, what did, what did we just transition into? I'm lost. See, I don't know. I Honestly, I don't, I don't know. Because it's, it hasn't made the news. It's not newsworthy. Uh, Adam is Adam is pointing out the fact that in a lot of news stories, there there's teachers, female teachers, who are getting busted for sleeping with their 
Oh, like young students. Nobody wants to hear about some dude molesting a young girl, but like people are like, "Wolf." Well, yeah, you was the teacher hot and is the dude a stud? Like oh, there's a totally wait. different dynamic that people look at it with. That's interesting. That is that is an interesting thing. Yeah, you're probably you're probably true. Well, I think it, you know what, guys? Like how jacked is this guy? Yeah. Uh, how cute hey, is the how fucking cute. fake news. <laughs> give me give me all the news, baby. What you just want to hear terrible? Of course, of course. Adam wants unfiltered. <laughs> I want unfiltered. Yeah. We need to start our our own network. Oh no, our own we do not. <laughs> oh no, we do not. What is happening? This is important. This what is happening is important. That's not what this is about, oh, buddy. We need to start our own <laughs> network. <laughs> This is your guidance counselor? You're the worst guidance counselor ever. Stick to porn stars, buddy. No, he's yeah. good with porn stars going into retirement. Other than that, motherfucker has no clue where he's going. <laughs> Who do you think? Who do you think are the anchors on this thing? Uh, back to you in the studio, Lexington. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the porno news. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Damn, I did yeah. not see. Dude, I'd get all my news from Lexington Steel. <laughs> that would be so cool. That'd be sick, dude. <laughs> That'd be so tight. This is a wild pivot. Atmospheric river coming through Los Angeles. He could deliver some really harsh shit, and I'd be like, "Well, all right, okay." This yeah. is a wild pivot. It's wetter in L.A. than uh, <laughs> insert fucking porno star from the 2000s. Loose butthole. I feel like there was something like on the wasn't there like something on the Playboy channel called the Naked News? I have something in my head that's like Naked News. OK, wasn't there? Oh, well, that was that's New York, New York uh, access cable, I think, basic cable. Well, Avalon was Local access. our oh. management company was producing something like that when we first signed uh, up with them. <laughs> That's why we signed. <laughs> Oh, it's the naked news. Oh, naked duh. news. And uh, I think that was like maybe 80% of why we signed with uh, our management company and have right. stuck with them for 15 plus years. Right. Bro, they do the naked news. Do you need they any writers that. on that? Uh, it's not really a writing thing, but like. They did the naked news, dude. Yeah. It was a it dating was a show for Playboy, but also naked, though. Yeah. So. Right. That's news to me. Yeah. Real man of Jesus. Dude, have you, guys, <laughs> have you guys heard about this? Blake's been looking for that for so long. Have you guys heard about this show in uh, Europe that's called um, um, Naked Attraction, where basically, mm, like, just me? regular... It's called Zip Naked it. Attraction. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. If you can YouTube it, YouTube it. It's crazy. It comes on Wednesday nights, like, 9.30, and it's like... One person goes out there okay. and they are looking at three boxes like goes goes out where I'm a man. Thank you, Adam. Goes out on they're looking. There's through. There's one contestant. There's yeah, one on. contestant that is uh -huh. goes out on a river dam going to choose their partner based okay. solely on first their dick. I'm a dude. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, why aren't we watching this every week, guys? Second their body and then how they it. move it so the contestants are in boxes that are okay. blocked mm -hmm. and the front of it comes up mm -hmm. like is revealed to be like okay, okay there's Ooh. their dick but you okay. can't see their top half of their torso and the, sure the person but you can see their legs based on someone's legs you can probably assume if they're ripped or not right okay no i mean yeah you get a pretty good idea you, oh yeah you know you see their bodies you see everything you know what's coming because you got the bottom half but they're just staring at their dick or their vagina and they're calm staring that's hilarious huh. <laughs> how how close are they allowed to get to it <sighs> <sighs> the close-ups are incredible dude and they're like <laughs> fucking pierced and they're like there's all sorts the close-ups how close yummy like can you see the, the mites that are trying to <laughs> the yeah. cameras Very are fucking there bro it's this Matt Barry and Natasha Dimitri like showed me this and we just spent nights just watching and cracking up because this is on their fucking. Oh, yeah. So funny. And and like crack cracking up, but also, dude, it's wild, man. Yeah. What do you got? What else? <laughs> getting getting a little torqued. Is it, yeah. Just staring at dick close ups. Your boobs are huge. Well, no, it, they're not. They're not great looking bodies they're just normal 
bodies. They're like oh, so uh, it's like it's like real sex, HBO real sex, where they would mm. show like just some regular like, yeah. ass naked people, and you're like, oh, well, that's <laughs> yeah, that's and they're being judged. That's refreshing. Okay, I'll, I'll keep watching. <laughs> oh, I'll keep watching for yeah. eight hours. Yeah, I'll watch this whole marathon. Oh, this is kind of gross, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm nine, so this works. <laughs> yeah, I think it's naked attraction. If you guys naked attraction. All right. Well, wait. So, so the the box they're in a box and that slides up. You can see their dick. Good. Are there women who are also? And you get to see like vagina. Yeah. Yes. And then it goes yeah. up a little further, and you see breast, chest, like muscles, whatever. And then you uh -huh. finally see the face. Yes, that's uh -huh. right. And then they make their choice. Do they care about the feet? Do they go like close up on the feet? Oh. They talk mm -hmm. about everything. They are they are Butthole? picking apart every part. Yeah, you can but turn I'm saying, around, I guess, look like, at their ass. Yeah. What is yes. Wait, you can check out their butthole? Tight one butthole. You could ask them. They could show it if they wanted to, I guess. I don't know if you're allowed to. Adam's in. Adam's I mean, soul. Yeah. <laughs> so you can. You can see the butthole. You could be like, show me a little dance. And then there's a part. Then they turn on music and everybody's like, from the waist down, you see their lower half of their body doing the little fucking <laughs> shimmy. Yeah. How does the fucking show end? <laughs> yeah, so that's the show? <laughs> you just pick one? How long is the show? Like t eight Ten? minutes? Like, no, I think they go like... I think right out the gate, I could probably be like, yeah, that one's cool. Is it like an American Idol kind of elimination <laughs> thing? Like it goes for like... <laughs> yeah, it's an elimination. Yeah, 24 episodes? It's no, 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 no. Each episode is standalone. I think there's 15 minutes each. There's like we narrow these bodies down from 24 to one winner. <laughs> there's like a, a boy and a girl on each episode, and they okay. and they do it like that. Tonight it's butthole episode. <laughs> Sign me up. The Hemis and the Fishes. So you never get to meet the person or personality or. Like, they don't get to answer a question, I, kind of like love connection, where they're like... <laughs> no, I don't think they're talking. I think... I don't... Oh, Mr. Romantic up here, huh? They don't get to talk at all. So what if what if they're just the hottest person, the nicest yeah. butthole, uh, great torso, yeah. firm... They're underwater. <laughs> no knobby knees, great looking feet, and then... Yeah, get those knobby knees out of there. Great ass! And then they, their face is their gorgeous, just beautiful, perfectly yeah. symmetrical right. face. And then Great they talk ass. and they're like, Hello. hi. And they just yeah. have the worst voice. <laughs> they have a yeah. Elmo's voice. Yeah. They go right. on a date. And every episode I saw, like, they were like, and they had a great first date. And then the next thing is like, and then they never went on a date ever again. They <laughs> fucked. They oh, fucked. And then that's they never annoying. went on a date. They basically. <laughs> that's See ya. What, it, what it resulted in yeah. every time. Yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe also, you know, maybe the person <laughs> that's being uh, that is naked up there, maybe the the person who is the one judging, maybe they're really mm -hmm. bad at sex or maybe they their oh, dick right. is, in, is horrific. Or they're just trying to get their SAG card and they're like, Fuck. <laughs> the ripping right, and the tear. Yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> uh, this is this is Europe. I don't know if it's SAG over there. I feel like this is not union. Yeah, I feel like yeah. this is not a union <laughs> show. Yeah, I think this is this is a BAFTA thing, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. That sounds even more official. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. That's honestly. why I said it. I know. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> it's like a Shakespearean trained. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. I like that. These are some thesbians. Check it out. I'll send you guys some links. It's fucking sick, dude. Dude, send us a lot of links. I'll send you guys some links. <laughs> We're reaching a point where. Dating shows are getting really wild. Did you ever see that one on Netflix where it was like they made you up like completely like like monsters and you went on a date and you couldn't tell what either one of you looked like? You look like these bizarre. Would, you made like a like is it like the mass singer no. type monsters where it's plush or is it like No, it's it's more like um, a man without a face like it looks very real. It, yeah, it's kind of like Mel Gibson. Uh -huh. <laughs> like melting it, it was like um, it was like prosthetics, like lizard people mm. and like big, like but not plushy, like their their mouths could move and all that. No, I didn't see that. What was it called? Oh, it was weird. Uh, it was like, dude, and that was on uh, Netflix. Netflix is doing some shit. Yeah, Beauty in the Eye of the Beholder or something. I don't know. Oh, so it's like uh, you can't. Oh, Eye of the. Be it's probably called Eye of the Beholder, right? Yeah. That sounds familiar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. 
probably isn't called that. We're yeah. probably wrong. <laughs> but so what is it? So you're supposed to be like, a, it's like you base it on how nice they are kind of thing? like Their personality because they look so bizarre. And then at the end, they like pull the thing off and they're like, you're well, beautiful. Dude, you're so ugly. But also, I Sexy mean. Sexy beasts. Uh, this doesn't come off. <laughs> oh, it's called Sexy Beasts. It's called Sexy Beasts. It's called okay. Sexy Beasts. Which is not Eye of the Beholder even a little bit, but. <laughs> Naked Grandma! Blake, you were right. Well, how <laughs> hilarious is it? Because you think that they're going to cast good looking people who right. are also very nice, kind people. Imagine mm-hmm. they like are kind, nice people, and then they pull off their fucking thing and they're just even worse than what the makeup was. And you're like, ah. Oh, well, yeah. I was going to say, they tell the people that, you okay, wish they were a troll. They're wearing makeup, and then you pick who you like. And then at the end, the thing is that, like, it's not makeup and they are severely deformed. It's not makeup at yeah. all. Yes. <laughs> so they're like, it's they're like, sloth. Jones is like, here we go. All right. Take uh, that giant right. thing off your cool. face. No, I do have a mega mind uh, type skull. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull off that pig nose. <laughs> okay. Let's take the bald cap off. Are you a redhead? Let's see, sweetie. Nope. And that third eye on your forehead, if you could just peel it off and that's not coming off. And, like, and that's, that's, <laughs> that's not coming off. It's, it's, it's like uh, Austin Powers when he's trying to rip the wig off. Yeah. Why won't this thing? Austin. Austin, no. Austin. Yeah, he's a man, baby. <laughs> oh, man. I freaking love Austin Powers. Oh, I got to throw that on. It's been... 20 years. Todd, make that my, please make that my intro on on the pod, please. <laughs> Are your kids old enough? Anders, Anders has the oldest children. Uh, yeah. Do you, do your kids... Are they old enough to appreciate Austin Powers yet? No, I don't uh, think so. I think that would go way over their head. I think some of that stuff went over my head and I was fucking 16 when I saw it. Yeah, but that's half the fun of watching Very that psychedelic. Stuff. Well, sure, but like the sexual stuff, it's just how goofy it is. I feel like they would like the like, the, the like how he's talking and like the... Yes. A- Adam, I just want to remind you that the whole premise is that this is a guy who can't <laughs> stop fucking things. <laughs> yeah, I know. In a time where that's not allowed. And he's talking about how like condoms aren't good and his penis (laughs) pump is like, uh, so, so no, I haven't. (laughs) But I showed showed them like predator and and super violent things. So I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like with jokes like that, at least when I was a kid, like even watching like Naked Gun or Ace Ventura, when he like gets fucked by the the first. Yeah. And the first scene, I didn't know what was happening at all. He gets the blowjob. And you're like, what? Yeah, true. That's that's what I think. But then there's a scene where he's like, but you how you were 10 when Ace Ventura came out? I was like 14. No. Ace Ventura was like, no, Ace Ventura was like. No, Ace Ventura. We were in fifth grade, Blake. Yeah, 10, yeah fourth right? or fifth grade. We were 10. Yeah. Yeah, fourth or fifth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I, I'm not saying hot, you hot, didn't, hot, but hot. like that's still older. Maybe like next year. I, I had said this to. Well, aren't your kids, aren't they like nine or 10 now? My wife. When they turn 10, almost 10, when they turn 10, floodgates are open. Oh, yeah. They can watch whatever the fuck they want. Faces of death. Lexington Uh, Steel. Lexington Steel. Lexington Steel. Have a seat, boys. Make an attraction. All good. But we just watched that documentary about the the Thai soccer team, those boys who got trapped in the cave Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, got freed. And we watched that last night. I'd already seen it. It's fucking amazing. What is it called? It's called The Rescue, and it's on um, Disney. Uh, and it's essentially the story of, like, these boys. They went hiking in these caves, and then the rain, like, monsoon season showed up a month early, and they oops. got trapped in the cave when it Whoopsies. started raining. And the cave yeah. system's, like, miles long, like a couple miles long, and Fart. they're just in there. And so, like... And, like, um, imagine all the Komodo dragons and stuff that are hiding in there. Oh, it's so many. Komodo. Adam, there's <laughs> so many dragons that yeah. they don't show. You're like... Yeah. What's up with that? But you're always sort of like, looking at the water <laughs> and you're like, there's a Komodo dragon lurking yeah, somewhere. Right. And that's probably or a big sure. part of the movie. Or? It's a... Uh, I think there's a sequel. There might be a sequel about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, that might be the sequel of the prequel. But my kids, the, are just, the five and nine year old are just like, did the boy, do they die? Do they all die? Just tell me if they die. I don't want to watch it if they die. Are they? Are they? Yeah, exactly. So we kept them up super late last night watching it because... 
we were just like, we can't send them to bed without them not knowing that the kids sure. survive. And we don't want to tell them. And uh, they were so anxious watching this movie. And I was like, did we fuck up? Wow. Just sweating. Wow. No, that's tight. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. But it's an amazing story. And they do get all the kids Maybe. out. Spoiler. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be weird when, you know, they they turn 30 and 28 and they're like, yo, remember when you made us watch that? <laughs> Dad, I got arrested. We, that I still remember it very well. What I really wanted to go to bed and yeah. you were like, no, you have to stay up. That right. is something that stuck with me for a very right. long time. I, will, I can only watch porno in caves. All right. Well, that's not the worst thing. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I guess so. And the Komodo dragons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can only watch Komodo dragon porno. Kyle, do you remember Say what I'm thinking about watching porno in a weird place when All we right. went to the in a IHOP? Cave. <laughs> when we went to the IHOP not, not uh, off Wilshire when we used to live together back in the day, <laughs> and there was a man in a car in that little parking lot yeah. behind the IHOP of only like okay. five parking spots <laughs> yeah. using the IHOP's internet and jerking off in his car. <laughs> hey, as, hey now. <laughs> yeah, very, for, that was a- De Hey, desperate times. As we were like walking past his car, we're like, oh, that guy has fucking Pornhub up. And then we just notice he's cranking down. Do you remember what kind of device he was on? Like, did he have a laptop or was he? He had a full laptop. He yeah. had a full laptop. <laughs> Yeah, he was very forward. He Hold was a up. forward thinker. He was out yeah. there grabbing the that internet from Gates. the parking lot. That was the yeah. first time I think I saw somebody <laughs> grabbing the internet from the parking lot. I thought so too, yeah. Uh, that was Steve Jobs <laughs> testing the prototype of the iPad. And it made um, me go like, what's happening in this guy's home? Where he, because it was like a, he I was just you know. a regular. It yeah. was like a Camry, you know what I mean? It right. wasn't like he, hey, that ain't regular, bro. What would <laughs> what would you, what would tip it off to be like? Oh, this guy's sketchy. What car? Like, what are you thinking? A van of sorts. A, a van is the first thought. Well, I mean, like if it seemed like he was living in the car, it didn't seem like he was living in the car, and not right. even sketchy. Right. It'd be like, Wait. oh, he has to jerk off here because this is where he lives. No, this, this guy had a home. I don't think he, he had to. Yeah, we've all been there. Come on. I think he, I, I think he was just pioneering something. I think he was just pioneering in his own mind. Yeah. Oh, you do? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think that's a pioneer. Oh. That's somebody who's out there. <laughs> Real men of genius. No, I, I'd like to think like his in-laws are in town. They're <laughs> right, exactly. They're getting on him. He's like, he's got a lot of things at home. He's like, I got to get out of here. Right. I got to crank down. Yeah. Get me to the closest IHOP. Yeah. He's, hey, what happened? Yeah. Damn, yeah. man. <laughs> Maybe the parking wasn't limited. Maybe that's why he went to the IHOP and it had the internet. There you go. He got it. IHOP stands for I have to open my pants. Okay. <laughs> yes. Points. points. Give him some right. points. I'm trying to. Uh -oh. I have yes, to. Yes, points. First point of the day. <laughs> I have to operate my penis. <laughs> What's worse? What's worse? What's worse? Yes, points. <laughs> Incidentally, hands uh, over. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Any take backs, apologies? What was my take back earlier? I wanted to take back pulling the nuts. Pulling nuts <laughs> through a zipper. Through the zipper. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. obviously, the, you know, I walked that back right away, but I would like to officially take that back mm -hmm. because kids don't do that. If you're gonna paint your nuts and do yeah. the splits in front of your friends, have your get an old pair of sweatpants, cut yeah. a hole in it. Have your friend pull their nuts out for you, and then have your friend named Blake Anderson paint your nutsack yellow. Yeah, <laughs> your neck sack. Yeah. Neck. Hey, real quick before we go, your can, net sack. Before we go, <laughs> interesting hand job on Pontiac. <laughs> From each of you guys, can I get a movie for for when? <clears throat> my nine-year-old turns 10 and I open the floodgates and I let him watch whatever movie he wants to watch. Can I get three recommendations from each, one from each of you that you're like, this is the one that's going to fucking blow his mind. Is yours uh, Austin Powers, Adam? That's going to blow his <laughs> mind? Well, that, that like, he'll, no. he'll be like, oh my God. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I can tell you what. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think he would really enjoy it because I think it's playful enough that he would like still, it wouldn't be too scary or weird and he wouldn't get most of the sexual stuff anyway. Right. You're going to like my answer. Dirty. I would say RoboCop because that's the movie that I watched way too young. <laughs> oh God. Yes. Very I watched that movie when I was like six or something. I love this. Yeah. Yep. And it was just like, there's like a rape in the first like 15 seconds. Is there? 
Yeah, where he shoots through the woman's skirt into the guy's yeah. dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, cool. Holy shit. It's just like so violent immediately. Yes. yes. And yeah. hypersexual and all the things. And you're suggesting this. And it's like a dystopian future. And you were like, I'm too young to watch this. Right. Mm. Uh, I felt the same way when I saw Predator 2 in the theaters. I was like. This is insane. They were like cutting people's heads off and like dudes are skinned. <clears throat> Doesn't that like start up? Yeah. Is, isn't it like the samurai scene like in the skyscraper and it's just like some dude like with a katana and he, yeah. doesn't he like cut some dude's stomach open or something? Yeah, yeah. It's Nar. It's yeah. Nar, 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 Nar Banks. Okay. So RoboCop. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I mean, what about just, I mean, Termin Terminator 2 was, it, it did me right. And then I went and saw Terminator 1. But it wasn't like crazy because it's like sci-fi. I think it was... T2. It blew my mind yeah. in a major fucking way. T2 did. When he slices his hand off and shows the like... There's so mm -hmm. much cool shit in that movie. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I would have to show him Terminator before though. No, not required. I watched it the other way. Terminator 1 is actually... I, I know you did, but I would want to show him Terminator first... That's going to be get you bummed because not, T2 is way better. Yeah, it is. No, but T1 is fucking... If you're 10... It has Kyle. Kyle's sick. It's got Kyle. Kyle's the best. I know. It does have fucking Kyle. Dude. A man named Kyle. By the way, <laughs> it does have the name Kyle. threw it off for me. Like, they almost ruined the movie. <laughs> 69, <laughs> dudes! Uh, okay. I'll go I'll go with the first rated R movie I ever saw. Dirge, you're gonna like my answer. I'm gonna get you sucker was my first rated R movie, and that is a That's right. We were talking about that. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh my god. That Are we gonna will one. you pull up that link I sent you and close out the pod with it? Thank you, God. Uh, what a killer wow. soundtrack. I just watched it the other day and it's it fucking holds up. Uh Damon Wayne Damon Wayans Sr. Mm -hmm. Super duper funny, super young. Uh, Kadeem Hardison, super young, super funny. David Allen Greer kills it. The best. Obviously, Keenan, the fucking mm -hmm. leader of comedy that he was, just took all these hilarious people under his wing and made the fucking best movie. Was that pre um, In Living Color? No, it's not on Apple yes, Music. Yes, it's like super, super duper pre. I believe it was like oh, really? several years before In Living Color. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Oh, dude, it's good. Dude, it's so funny. I, I feel like when you show your kids that uh, when they turn 10, I'll come over to the crib and, yeah. and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> can can Adam watch? Uh, I'll watch it with. Jim Brown is in the mix. Um, Bernie Casey is like the like OG. Like the it's a spoof on black exploitation. Basically, it's like Airplane, how Airplane spoofed like those um, disaster movies. Mm -hmm. This was oh, yeah. spoofing black exploitations, and even oh, had like tight. the guy who played Superfly. Ah, oh, fuck, what is his name? He's here in it, go. playing like an old pimp. I mean, it's a. This is the fucking jam right here. <laughs> so yeah. good, dude. Karis yeah. One also has a fucking okay. jam in it. Oh, okay. yeah. Isaac Hayes is in it too. Isaac Hayes. Yep. Chris Rock is in it too. Chris Rock, of course. <laughs> yeah, Chris Rock is in it. Sean Wayans. Bro, Robo this Cop. cast is fucking Hawthorne James, bro. The I'm gonna get you sucker. I'm gonna get you sucker, Robocop, and Kyle, yours is T2. And yeah. T2. I feel like you guys just explain like those are the three movies of who I am, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's well, you know. Hey, I think I think that's why we work well together. Yeah. We're trying to clone you. Kiss, kisses, kisses. Mm. And that's another episode. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get you sucker. This is important. Oh my god. Gunk, gunk, gunk.